Charges and counter charges were exchanged by delegates to the Korean Military Armistice Commission. The two sides met for almost four hours, but no solutions or agreements came out of the meeting called to discuss the shootout here at Panmunjom three days ago. That gunfight came as American and Republic of Korea soldiers took defensive measures to protect a defecting Soviet defector across the military demarcation line from the north. Rear Admiral Charles F. Horn, United Nations Command representative to the Military Armistice Commission, demanded the North Korean delegates assume responsibility for the shooting deaths of a Republic of Korea soldier and at least two North Korean soldiers and the wounding of an American serviceman on duty here at the Joint Security Area. Admiral Horn called the Friday shooting a most grave and tragic incident during an exchange with his North Korean counterpart, Major General Lee Tae-ho. Horn told the Korean People's Army senior member there was, for the first time in the history of the armistice, an exchange of gunfire in the JSA. Horn demanded a thorough investigation of the shooting incident, steps and procedures to prevent a recurrence of such an incident, punishment of those responsible, and an apology. Horn then warned the North Koreans, do not again pursue a defector across the MDL or shoot at him and or our guards. Horn noted the discrepancies in the North Korean reports of the incident. The admiral produced the videotape of the defector, Vasily Matuzak, explaining that the defection had been envisioned two years ago and that he was not enticed or coerced into crossing the military demarcation line. Matuzak, on tape, told how he sprinted the entire length of the MAC conference building to reach the UNC guards before crying out for protection and assistance. As the North continued to deny the UNC accusations, delegates from the United Nations Command held fast. The Admiral also presented taped accounts of the shooting incident itself, an account recorded from microphones inside the MAC building that started during the tour being conducted at the time of the defection. That tape included the shouts of North Korean guards, pistol shots, North Korean guards shouting in Korean, catch him, and more shots. Horn reminded the North Korean delegation the UNC guards had the North Korean guards flanked and pinned down when the ceasefire was asked for by the North. Horn commented that the North Korean casualty toll would have been much higher had it not been for the discipline and self-control of the United Nations Command guards. It was a long four hours, and there is no evidence the meeting produced any results or changes in attitudes. The question now will be one of North Korean response to Admiral Horn's advice to the North Korean general. Horn told Lee that the North-South talks now in progress are important and urged both sides to remember there are additional reasons to reduce tension so the talks can continue. He promised the UNC side will do its mission to enhance the climate for those talks and asked Lee and the North to do the same. Mark Vega, AFKN News, Panmunjom.